on Instagram and I saw a product called Toy Box. It's a kid-friendly 3D printer. The last toy you ever need to buy. Say what? So naturally, I had to order one. Now this toy is a 3D printer, so it can get a little pricey. But as far as 3D printers go, this is a deal. I ordered the Toy Box Deluxe Bundle because it comes with a lot of printer food. This is the printer, and we are going to test this out for the first time together today. There's the website. Let's take it out of the box for a closer look. Out of the box, the printer is about 9 inches tall, about 7.5 inches wide, and 7.5 inches deep. Four of the sides are completely open, so pay attention to the warnings that say caution hot nozzle. Let's check out the included literature. This explains all of the parts of the machine. Printer food is biodegradable and non-toxic. Feed your toy box from the top of the extruder. Awesome. Caution, please do not touch your toy box while it is printing. Do not touch the nozzle at the bottom of the extruder. It can be very hot, even when your toy box is not operational. Allow printed toys to cool for one minute before touching or removing. Please use parental guidance at all times. Adult supervision is required for children under 12 years old. Small printed toys may be a choking hazard. Keep away from curious mouths. Keep your toy box away from water. Do not alter or repair your toy box. Please contact us at help at make.toys with any questions. All right, so don't touch that thing. Let's get started. First, connect the electron delivery service to the back of the toy box to power it up. I can see something going on down there. It says go to the website to finish this up. So, okay, I'm gonna do that and I'll be back. Let's see how long this takes. It's 11 o'clock right now and we're just starting the setup. It's making a lot of sounds. It says ready, so let's press insert. It must be working because stuff is coming out right there. That took me about 25 minutes. Now we have to find something to print. Let's try the mini hanger. Press the button at the bottom that says print me. I had some trouble with my tablet, so I had to log in with my computer so we could print the hanger, and now it says heating up. Something's happening! Okay, the little tray is moving, so I'm getting excited. This is definite progress. We weren't able to make it do this earlier. So, yes! Time's up. We have to wait about a minute for it to cool, then remove the tray. Ah, this is like magnetic, so a little tricky to get out. Oh, there we go. Ah, lost it. There we go. Yeah, got it. And then we should be able to peel this off. And yeah, we have a little hanger. It's a little large for our 12-inch dolls. Wait a minute. On second thought, it totally works. Okay, I'm excited. What else can we make? On the website and app, there are a lot of different toys that you can choose from, made by other creators that you are free to print. Or you can create your own. You can even customize your own person. I designed a person, but that is going to take a while to print. So let's just draw something and see if that will be faster. I wish it would let me see my cursor on the drawing board so I would know where I am. That is about uh, right there. I couldn't get it to print, so I just went back and printed something from the catalog to make sure my connection was good. Then we will try again. It is printing, so I must be doing something wrong. It's a little noisy, but I have been able to connect my tablet, and we're gonna try to draw on this instead. I just want a square, like a little cube. Maybe this will work. Create. And wow, okay, it said it's gonna do it. So let's hit print. Yes, we got it to work. It's working. Whoa, that is a lot smaller than I thought. This is a learning process. That is not the size I was going for, but it did turn out really good. It's the perfect shelving unit for our party pop teenies. Let's try again, only this time we'll make it larger. 
use advanced options to adjust the height and scale. Then we can make it larger on the pad. There we go. That looks like it might work. Let's give it a try. Whoa, it's going to take an hour and 22 minutes to print. Let's hope it actually works this time. I think I did it this time. Oh no, the ends are curling. I must have made it too large. Let's try again. Attempt number three. It is done, so we can remove it from the printer. We have a perfect little cube shell for the dollhouse. Yay, we did it! It is possible to use the toy box to create items for the dollhouse. However, given the size of this 3D printer, there are a few limitations. Unless you can create everything in pieces and then put them all together. There are a few dollhouse items in the catalog to choose from. We are printing a tiny toilet, which is pretty cool. And now we have a mini doll bathroom. These could be fun toys for our dolls. It is important that you keep an eye on it. I was making cinder blocks and I walked away for about 20 minutes and came back to this. So sometimes this will happen. Let's change the color. Let's print something else. I just made tiny chairs to go with my tiny table. Then I made a tiny bed. When it comes to designing toys on the app, everything has to be made kind of flat, but then you can raise it up on the platform for different heights. As you can see, the bed and the chair are pretty much the same design. So is our table and our newly printed couch, which is just a long chair. The preset shapes are listed here, so I can pick a circle, then draw it on the screen, and adjust the height. But I can't make like a sphere unless I just haven't figured it out yet. It would be really cool if those 3D options were available, like spheres, pyramids, cubes, and we could carve into them, creating recesses and designs. You can use the pen and draw whatever you want, but once again, it will be flat. But to make this easier, there are a lot of options available in the catalog, like building blocks that you can use to create a castle, jewelry, and lots of other stuff. This is a little pricey. I waited to get mine on sale. And there are other 3D options out there. This is a great 3D printer for kids and beginners. I am totally a beginner. People with more know-how or those who are willing to learn will do amazing things with this. I just printed two rectangles and I'm gluing them together. And I made a TV! I am definitely going to spend some time learning how to use some other software so that I can make more detailed things. And I'm sure my kids are going to love this. It doesn't give off much of a smell, the plastic is biodegradable, and it inspires creativity. Check out this wall I just printed for my mini dollhouse. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have fun with this. Thank you for joining us while we took a look at the Toy Box 3D printer. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff and the Frog Vlog. And we will see you next time for another Unbox Daily. And that's our collection for now.